Earlier this year, Hyundai has announced that it would introduce no less than 23 electric vehicles by the year 2026, and complete its EV lineup that comprises of 12 models by 2025. However, with the EV climate quickly changing, Hyundai is revising its plan drastically. This is due to fierce competition expected from the formidable American auto industry, backed by $174 billion that Biden administration is pouring into the market for the proliferation of EVs, and to develop relevant infrastructure, to make the American roads closer to zero emission within a decade. Also, countless Chinese upstarts that are already flooding the roads of Europe with their inexpensive and value-oriented EVs are no doubt concerned to the Koreans as well. However, the most disconcerting factor may be the official entry by the arch-nemesis Japanese, vowing to repeat the same success that they have enjoyed in the ICE sectors for decades until now. Toyota recently announced the BZ4X, the carmaker's first mass-produced electric vehicle. A brand new vehicle that will set the new course for the company, a big change for Toyota, which has to date relied heavily on hybrid technology. It's reported that the vast majority of the current and past Toyota owners indicated that the EV choice would be Toyota, if there was ever to be one. This isn't surprising as Toyota has one of the highest customer loyalties in the industry due to its rock-solid reputation for reliability. Hyundai hasn't been doing too shabby either of late, as the Korean has also become one of the most reliable and quality-oriented auto manufacturers. And as an EV manufacturer, their achievement and reputation undoubtedly exceeded that of the Japanese brands. The Hyundai Motor Group, in a very short few years, has risen to the world leader in the battery electric and hydrogen electric vehicles by creating spectacular EVs based on one of the most advanced 800 volts ultra-fast charging dedicated electric vehicle platforms, the eGMP, and the hydrogen fuel cell EV masterpiece, Nexo FC EV. The Korean automaker has also set various sales records and accolades throughout the world with its new line of highly advanced zero-emission vehicles. The most significant being the winning of the prestigious 2022 German Car of the Year Award for its Ionic 5 which has won in the new energy category, beating out such formidable competitors as the BMW iX and the Mercedes-Benz EQS. Also, the Kia EV6, which is a more premium and sportier version of Ionic 5, came in second in the category but ended up winning the premium category. However, rather than basking in the laurels of its success, with the understanding that it has a little lead in the race for the EV dominance, Hyundai decides to step on the accelerator. Rather than waiting until 2025, Hyundai has announced that it would release five new EVs in 2022 to complete the full lineup of advanced electric vehicles. The first one is expected to be the smallest electric vehicle in the range, anticipated to be called Ionic 1. Utilizing the Integrated Drive Module or IDM that was jointly developed with the American international auto technology company Borg Warner, and adapting the funky design of the recently introduced Hyundai Casper City car, this A-segment vehicle, approximately the size of Fiat 500e, should be one of the most fun electric vehicles in Hyundai's lineup, with its performance and appearance. The Borg Warner IDM is an integrated unit that puts together an electric motor, gearbox, and power electronics in one compact package and provides the peak power of 135 kilowatts or 181 horsepower, incredibly. However, it's a 400-volt system, similar to one found in Ford Mach-E, so it won't charge as fast as the 800-volt system found in Ionic 5 with a charging speed of 18 minutes to 80%, but should be able to manage it in 45 minutes. The design is expected to be similar to that of Hyundai's newest city car Casper, which features large round bug eyes and a boxy shape reminiscent of its Palisade Big Brother. It also features an interior that's obviously influenced by Ionic 5, which is a very good thing. A capable EV at the $20,000 range would definitely make this super mini highly desirable even in North America. The second car is the Hyundai Kona-sized eGMP-based electric vehicle. Kia is already testing the Celto-sized EV, expected to be called the EV4, so it's no surprise that the Hyundai equivalent is also being prepared. The most likely naming for the new Hyundai Compact EV would be Ionic 3 as it's expected to be a scaled-down version of the Ionic 5 in design and performance. Our insider report says that the new Ionic 3 is expected to share a lot of design components with its bigger brother that offers 80s hatchback-inspired styling. Ionic 5's design was influenced by prolific hatchbacks such as the original Hyundai Pony and the Lancia Delta, both of which have been penned by none other than Giorgetto Giugiaro, the designer of the iconic gull-wing DeLorean. The Ionic 5's design is being received exceptionally well in Europe even over the Kia EV6, which features a more contemporary sleek design, so it's a right move by Hyundai to deliver similar styling for an EV that's expected to be the company's sales leader in Europe. 
Target starting price is sub $40,000 for the compact EV that's expected to offer a smaller battery of the Ionic 5, which measures 58 kilowatt hours and has the range of 250 miles or 400 kilometers, which could be extended with the efforts that the company is currently making to increase the range of all of its electric vehicles. The performance should be fantastic as well with Ionic 5's motors that range in power from 168 horsepower single motor rear wheel drive to 232 horsepower dual motor all wheel drive in a smaller lighter body. The third and the most surprising addition is the new D-Segment SUV. This Santa Fe sized SUV appears to be a brand new car under the radar, but it was under development for some time under the expected nameplate of Ionic 7. The confusion came about because it was reported that Hyundai is planning for a large electric SUV equivalent to the size of the American SUVs such as Chevy Tahoe and GMC Yukon, to be released in 2024 or 2025. This turned out to be an entirely different EV that's anticipated to be called Ionic 9. Compared to the Ionic 5 crossover, the Ionic 7 is to be a more traditionally styled SUV with a boxier shape, higher ride height, and more carrying ability with a 7-passenger 3-row capacity and will use similar mechanicals as the Ionic 5. Ionic 7 would likely be equipped with either a single-motor rear-wheel drive layout good for 225 horsepower, or the dual-motor all-wheel drive setup with 320 horsepower. This is a significant upgrade from the current ICE Santa Fe's horsepower of 191 to 281 horsepower. It's expected to be powered by a 77.4 kWh battery, which achieved 300 miles or 480 km with Ionic 5, but as mentioned earlier, the range is expected to be extended to as much as 350 miles or 560 km with the new engineering that is currently being developed. With an estimated starting price of between $50,000 to $55,000, it's expected to be a strong seller in North America. Especially with the exterior design that's anticipated to be a progression of the current Santa Fe with the inclusion of the Hyundai Staria spacecraft-like styling, similar to the images that have been previously exposed as an Ionic large SUV. The fourth model will be based on the very product that is setting the standard as far as the new design paradigm is concerned. The futuristic front-end design of the Staria minivan is now being adopted by the all-new line of SUVs and crossovers as we have seen in Ionic 7 and 9, and is set to become another brand-defining trait along with the parametric pixels. And the new minivan or often known as MPV or multi-purpose vehicle internationally, will be the culmination of all the latest design language of Hyundai. The first ever full electric MPV for Hyundai, the smartly styled Staria will also likely be the first minivan in decades that will feature all-wheel drive with the dual-motor setup. As with Ionic 7, likely to be powered by the same Ionic 5 long-range model 77.4 kWh battery with 225 or 320 horsepower motor layouts, we can definitely look forward to a performance improvement over the current internal combustion Staria with a 2.2-liter diesel or a 3.5-liter gasoline that produces 175 horsepower or 268 horsepower, respectively. The fifth and final product is the model that we are all familiar with the design catastrophe that's known as Ionic 6. Originally expected to be based on the beautiful Hyundai Prophecy concept, the production prototype revealed a design translation that has completely gone wrong. Luckily, Hyundai is taking measures to correct the design mistake before the product is being released. Although unappealing old-school window frames can't be fixed, the front and the rear end will be redesigned with a longer length, in an attempt to replicate the grace of the original concept. The redesign will delay the launch date by about three or four months from early 2022 to mid-2022. Expected to be underpinned by Ionic 5 long-range model-derived, single-motor rear-wheel drive setup with 215 horsepower, or the dual-motor all-wheel drive layout with 308 horsepower. The expected range of the electric sedan with 77.4 kilowatt-hour battery is well over 500 kilometers or 311 miles. The estimated starting price is $50,000 and should give Tesla 3 the run for its money with its high-tech eGMP platform, supporting 800 volts ultra-fast charging that can gain 100 kilometers or 62 miles in just 5 minutes. This completes the summary of 5 all-new electric cars to come from Hyundai in 2022, full 3 years ahead of the schedule. How is all this possible? How can a company create all these cars in such a short time? This is thanks to modularization. Enabled by the dedicated EV platform eGMP, which resembles a skateboard, Hyundai simply needs to adjust the power electric system and battery of the platform, and put a new body over it. 
In addition, although many existing ICE vehicles are expected to undergo transformation to become derivative EVs, as Hyundai's capability to produce eGMP-based dedicated EVs become more efficient, we may see ICE cars simply replaced by entirely new electric vehicles, resulting in an even faster end to the fossil-fueled vehicles than the originally planned termination date of 2035 in Europe. For the end of the video question, which of the discussed new Hyundai electric vehicles appeal to you the most? Please vote and share your views by clicking on the link in the comment section below. Thanks for watching AutoVision, your best source for the fastest Korean car news and rumors. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Also, don't forget to join our forum and share your passion for Korean cars at koreancarnews.com. See you next time with the latest Korean car news.